we start with St Kilda tonight, sixth on the ladder. I don't think we've ever seen Caro a team sixth this type of, of the season be as unhappy with themselves as St Kilda are at the moment as things start to fester a little bit at the Saints. Yeah, well, they're under a lot of scrutiny. No one seems to think they're going to make the eight. I'll be interested to hear what our footy experts have to say. And my understanding, Craig, is that there's just a little bit of disharmony at the top, which we'll talk about in a moment. We sure will. The messaging from the coach uh, is where we'll start, though. The footy side of things came. What, yeah. what did you think of uh, Ross on the weekend and his criticism of the, his players? Well, it's changed last year because when they sacked Brett Ratton as the coach last year, this was the president, Andrew Bassett, and then this was Ross line after the loss on the weekend. The reality is we think our list is capable of more um, than we've shown. I just feel when our top flights aren't really going there, there's not enough quality to step up and take the load off them, um, as harsh as that might be. Somehow we're going to improve our footy program, but in saying that, we expect to play better than that. We, we know we've got to build through there, get some speed and power to match the best. Now, it highlights in the short term improvement and long term personnel-wise, where we need to get to as well. So that's the reality, Hutchie, is that they are no better. In fact, you could mount the case that they are worse this year on, on some metrics. Their struggles to score have been well documented. And I think, Lordo, for the first time, Ross Lyon is starting to realise the situation that he is in and how much work is needed to fix it. You say the first time, though, Kane, you don't think that he would have known this when he walked into no, the No, I don't think that at all. I think the narrative has clearly changed around him. He was a lot more upbeat beat throughout the, the first part of the year, and part of that is win-loss. And he did speak about his finding out about, about the list and the quality that's on it, but he also spoke about how strong their performances has been. And now he needs a full pre-season to fix it. So it, it's been a wasted year, in it, essence. It is odd to hear the senior coach be as um, critical, I guess, of the depth of the talent when they've done so well to be in the spot they're in. Yeah, it, it is a little bit. And they haven't... Wasted years a bit harsh. I mean, well, they've had some terrible injuries. They're sixth on a the lot ladder. of teams have had... Terrible injuries. I think year. theirs have been shocking and had some unbelievable wins. Carol, they've lost the four out of their last the five. Year. And the yeah, one they've had win a was against West period. Coast by eight points. But, so Kane, where did you think they'd finish, though, the Saints? Not there, but where did they think they'd finish? Where, where did they think, if, if they've sacked that, the coach after winning last year? But did you think they expected year, it all to happen straight away in the first I think year? they expected improvement. Mm. Otherwise, I don't think they Behind would have. Behind the scenes, we were hearing pretty negative stuff about the list. I took. Sunday in particular, sorry, Saturday, they lost to the Gold Coast, didn't they? In particular, as a real dig a real comment, strong comment, biting comment on the previous footy administration. And I, I put it to Simon Lethleen today, the CEO. Um, I've heard that he's um, being looked at by Hawthorne for the CEO's job there. He confirmed he'd been approached but said he's very happy at St Kilda. And he said, look, I think a few people have been approached at Hawthorne and people know I've got connections at Hawthorne, good friend with um, the president, etc." I asked him how his relationship was with Ross Lyon because I'd heard it wasn't great. And Simon said that's not, that was not correct. So that speculation was, I was hearing pretty strongly that the coach and the CEO maybe weren't as close as they should have been, which is of a great concern if it's right. But Simon Lethleen has denied it, so I have to take him at his word. What about the scoring, though, Kane, of Ross Lyon type side? So he, he's been talking a lot around how we've dropped from you know, 15th to 12th mm -hmm. now, you know, or sorry, 8th, here it is, you know, from 15th, 18th, 16th, and 10th. So it's amazing how it happens where I think the Ross Lyon effect early was there for them and they were playing. And he, he's spoken, Ross, he said, we got what we deserved early in the year and now we're getting what we're deserving right it's now. Personnel, so, method? Uh, well, I think you'd have to say it's a bit of everything. Like, I don't think you can just put it onto the players. Yes, Caminiti. You know, and Philip, who aren't Hawkins and Cameron, but it also is a lot around the way Ross Lyon teams play. And I suppose he's got to look at himself as well as the personnel that's out there to try and get up to speed with how the best sides play the game.